Good evening and welcome to the Jeonju World Cup Stadium in Jeonju, South Korea. It is time for us to look at one of the biggest encounters in the continent. And this one being played out between Jeonbuk Hyundai Motors and Al Ittihad Hyundai Club. Kick off the home side starting off proceedings in the first half. Do remember that Jeonbuk Hyundai came away with an advantage, three away goals to be precise, having beaten Ithihad in their own backyard, 3-2. Playing away to Al Saad, after they had the Royal Rumble of Sots at the Suwon World Cup Stadium. Jumbo Kyundai, a chance here to score, but it's taken away. It almost seemed so close. The Ithihad defense, alert as ever. in this game and that's a bit unfair or oh, that's got to be terrible Mazazi livid and we've got Cho Sung Wan who's down on the field that is the captain of Jeonbuk Hyundai Cho Sung Wan also gets a yellow card doesn't happen every day. Then again, if it's in the course of play and it's dangerous enough, the offending player can be pulled up. Aninio. Aninio gets that through. And that's the goal. Jumbo Kimba Motors have kicked off the party right now at the Georgia World Cup Stadium. It's 1-0 and Aninio does the dance. Fans are ecstatic. Enino just finding the gap in the Olivi Hart defense. He's looking for an opportunity, pounced on it. Amad Al Mantasri did try to stop him. All he had to do was beat Mabrut Z, and he did manage that. Picks that out. Osama Al Arbi fails to stop him. Enino with his left foot. Is completing what he started. So 1 0, Jumbo can die. So Enino is served up another corner. And almost a chance here, and Enino does it again. This is truly deja vu. You saw it happening in the first leg, and Enino has now scored a brace. Well, this is the second one in the second leg. And it's now 2-0 at the Jeonju World Cup Stadium. Well scored it in very similar fashion. Had a bit of help the last time round by one of the Ittihad defenders. But we are going to get a view of that as Emilio strikes. Beautifully goes in, just under the box. Very difficult to stop this kind of a shot. And Mabruk Zerb gets his hand to it, but unable to stop it. Well, that is a fantastic effort to Emilio. Strike two in today's game, 2-0, Jumbo Kyundai Motors. Mabruk said, visibly upset. He was also the manager of the South Korean national team. From 2005, he has been with Jumbo Ken. That's absolutely no reason to turn away. Well, that is a goal for Oliki Hard, and you talk about success. Wendell finally finding a way through. It's now 2-1, Jumbo Kyundai. Oliki Hard back in the running. They still have two more goals to catch up with. Well, that pass is finding Wendell. No one there to challenge him. Get that kidney stick out of place and Park one j Well, a bit further down. So it's 2 1 and Wendell. Well, that's a throw in judo. Called the grapple and turn him over. Norek not too happy. A bit of bad blood there between the two. Norek and Rashid. That will have the referee Andre Haddad running over. So it's got to be a card.
And that's the second card for Lovrek, which means it's a red card. Well, that's very unfortunate. So it's Jean Bukyundai Motors down to 10 men as well. And he's got a word there for the official on the line. Well, that's what happened. Rashid was holding on to him when he fell down. So he moved up and pushed Rashid. For Chiombo Hyundai Motors, but currently it is Pobruk's side to take the goal kick. And there it is, the final whistle. Jumbo Hyundai Motors win the second leg of the semi-final as well against Solid Ihad. They did win the first leg, 3-2 in Saudi Arabia. And now right here at the Jeonju World Cup Stadium, Jeonju, Jumbo Hyundai Motors have beaten Al Ihad 2-1 to become the first team to sail into the finals of the continent's biggest competition as far as clubs are concerned. So the AFC Champions League 2011 first finalist will be Jumbo Hyundai Motors.